Hey guys, just uh, doing a little bit more work with my model here. Um, one of the things I've been looking at is the uh, various cost elements, and particularly the roof. The roof is a very large structure. Um, because it's angled, it's actually got more surface area than the floor, which I had calculated You know, the inside sort of main living area to be, oh, about 2,000 square feet. Um, but when I got to the roof and added the greenhouse and so forth, I was a little bit surprised to see that the surface area of this roof is quite larger than I thought it would be. Each dimension here is about 70 feet, which created a uh, surface of 70 times 70, which is about 4,900 square. Actually, it came to 4623, uh, 69 by 67. Don't want to beat you to death with the numbers, but you know when you got a structure that large, the cost of the elements to manufacture it make a big difference. So when I saw that the cost of the roof could be up, you know, using standard SIPs, 41k, I'm like, holy cow, man! So I started looking for a better way, and so I thought, well, maybe we could use straw bale. And so, anyway, what I'm going to do is a, a little experiment trying to see if it was phys uh, physically viable to use a straw bale style structure instead of the SIPs, which cuts my roof somewhere less than half in price. Okay, we're doing our experiment to see if we can uh, use straw and great stuff to seal it. So i got a couple cans of great stuff here that we're using as an adhesive. Just kind of goop it on here. It's just a bit test. I'm going to lay some chipboard over it. OSB to see if we can get a reasonable bond. So I'm putting a good coat on just to see what happens. Here we go. And this can is a little fresher. So anyway, if I'm thinking right, what's going to happen is this is going to bond. the uh, chipboard to the bale. Alright, here we go. We had a little bit of time that's still tacky, so I'm just going to squish this on here like that and let it set. Probably ought to put a little bit of weight on it so it's secure. Oh, here's a rock. So the other side of the experiment was to use a piece of roofing. Because I always hate poking holes in a good piece of metal. So I was thinking if we could glue it on both sides, uh, then uh, maybe I could just glue the roofing down at the same thing. But I didn't know if uh, there was going to be a tendency for the urethane to stick to the metal as well as the straw. So we've got two different experiments going on here in the same time. So we'll see if the uh, wood sticks and we'll see if the metal sticks. Okay, it's about an hour and a half later. This is a sample. We've got the metal side stuck and the wood side stuck and let's work with the wood first. You know, it's, it's pretty solid. Put a knee on it, push, it ain't going nowhere. It's very stable. So that's that. Now the metal side is pretty similar. I try to push it off. You can see the foam bending and the bond between the foam and the straw is pretty good. So I'll see what uh, the structural engineer says, but for my immediate survey, this looks like a pretty viable way to build a roof because, A, if you look at the structure, if this is inside the house, living space, you got wood, then you've got a vapor barrier, which is the uh, polyurethane foam, then you got your insulation, and then you've got another vapor barrier, moisture barrier. And, the, and then you got your uh, water turning la la layer and so even if you develop a leaf it leak in your metal this stuff's not going to let any water through so the sandwich is great the next thing that uh, probably worth mentioning is because the uh, straw is sealed inside if it starts out well dehydrated the biggest loss of heat through straw is actually through moisture migration moving from the cold or the yeah from the warm side to the cold side and back and forth so in this case um, a if as long as the straw is dry when it starts there's not going to be any wet the uh, test that they did with straw before basically closed the straw using effectively cement mud which put a layer of water on there so the water is going to soak get wicked into the straw 
In this situation, this is a totally dry binding system with no moisture at all. Okay, just to wrap up, think my numbers came out. The straw solution, if it works, is going to be about 341 a square foot. Uh, the SIPS or, or other technique is going to be around $9 a square foot. So that's a difference in roughly three times the cost. So uh, total for the roof, 15, 16K versus 42K. Big difference.